forever. They really do. I think for the services they're providing and the prices that they give you, um, it's a it's a good way to travel, especially if you're going far away for a weekend, or if you're going somewhere where you don't need a lot of like clothes or anything or bags. Um, I mean, they do charge you extra for a bag, but if you go, say the whole family goes, you got four people, three people, and your family with five. If everybody brings a carry-on, like a backpack size or a duffel bag size, small duffel bag size, that's free, so that's included in the price. But um, if you do need to bring a bigger bag for a family, then I would just go and get a really big bag and then have everybody share a bag and put things in it. Um, and that way you only pay for one additional bag, you know, you're not paying for, you know, um, everybody bringing in their own bag and that's how they make your money off people. When you all bring an extra bag or a bag, then that, that fee is times four or five or how many people in your family. So that's where they get the extra money from. But I've had some pretty good deals. Um, flying from the Washington area um, down to Orlando, six people. I think I paid 360 round trip for everybody to fly on Spirit. Um, we went down to we were going to go to Disney, but we ended up going to Universal all the days because my kids are a little bit older. And um, we had a hell of a deal. So, I mean, you talk about six times six is 36. I mean, so it was pennies in a dollar. You talk about ticket prices. I think coming back, we came back on Black Friday, and I think our tickets were like $8 for each person, or $9, which wasn't bad at all. I think going out there it was maybe like thirty something dollars a ticket. Um, maybe like thirty, thirty. But either way it goes, it, it averaged out to be pretty cheap. Um, now to get the deal we got from Spirit, we actually had to go to. We didn't have to go to the airport, but we went to the airport. And you could save on a lot of fees from from the airline fees if you go to the ticket window there at the airport and you purchase your tickets there at the airport. I think I say we saved like twenty, thirty dollars per leg per person so for six people that's a, that just added up to a lot of money so and I think I might have paid two dollars to park for 30 minutes as I ran in there ran in and ran out got the tickets so that was pretty good so um, we're gonna try to go somewhere else here soon and we went to the airport in the night and just be careful when you try to go to the airport check the flights because um, at our airport here in BWI Washington area the last spirit flight flew out like at six o'clock, so there was no need for people to be at the gate. We, we got there maybe like seven thirty, and um, so it really no one was at the gate, so we couldn't buy it there um, to save the money. But I'm gonna go back either today or tomorrow again. Just go a little bit earlier because, um, like I say, it's not a lot of flights are leaving. Period. Right. So, you know, we went a couple of years ago when they were. Flights coming in late, flight leaving, leaving late. I think the last flight that comes in, the last Spirit flight that leaves Washington, Baltimore Airport is, uh, I think, like six something. It's going to Atlanta. So, whereas usually this flight's leaving all the way up to 70 o'clock. So, if you make it to your airport, if you live by an airport, um, that's really good. You can go or be passing by one. And you know what flight you want to be on, you can go online and look at the tickets they have available. It's worth the money if you're there already in the area. Or if you're not, you can still buy them online. And their ticket prices online are pretty cheap. The, the tickets I'm looking at getting for November, I think it's $25 uh, one way, and then it's $32 to return trip. So you're looking at like the total, it's for six people, three hundred and twenty some odd dollars. Not bad. I think we'll just bring our, our our bag full of clothes and stuff we need. And if we need to take one extra bag, we we'll just bring it back for the family, and everybody can throw things into it. I mean, the thing is that when you go, but definitely if you can go out and get the deals on it, and you live close to an airport, you don't need to take a lot of luggage. Even if you do, some of the prices are still pretty cheap, and especially now everything going on traveling and now that a lot of people are traveling their flights are really 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 cheap now some places and too the cool thing about it is too if you look at a flight that's uh online
online, they started having the seats they've sold. And I think some of the flights, they only have so many seats they can sell at that discounted price. So you need to make sure if you see them, you can order them. Go ahead and purchase them. And then you can always go to the airport later and just buy the tickets there and then ask for a return on your, on your tickets. Um, I think they have a policy now with COVID going on that um, you can return tickets. If they bought before October 31st, you can return them with no fees, no penalties or exchange them to another flight later on. Which is a very good thing. And they fly to a decent amount of cities too as well. Um, you have to see they even fly like from here East Coast to West Coast trips. Um, I noticed looking at some of the trips going out west, I know when you fly west you're going against the you know jet stream and all that. But from DC to like uh, LA, it was almost like a five hour flight. And um, that's not bad, but Spirit would have to do something with the seats because the seats are pretty. It's one thing if we go back. One thing about Spirit is too, the seats aren't the greatest. They don't go back, they don't recline. But there's enough room there to kind of do what you need to do. But now that there's no, no one's allowed to sit in the middle seat, um, you can. You don't have to. You have a lot more room now, right? You just pull the middle seat thing up. Both both people on either side has more room now, so that's good. But when we start to return back to normal, that's going to be an issue, probably. Um, like I say, it's, I think it's good for you know you got maybe two and a half hours, maybe three hours. That's probably your max. That I would do, I would do um, on a spirit flight. I think you're flying an hour. I think Orlando's like two hours, two hours, ten minutes. By the time you get up, you know, you get your drinks. Um, you get settled in. You're, you're already starting to decline you know, an hour later, so it's not so bad. The other flight I think we're trying to go is more to northeast, Boston, that area. So I think the flight's like an hour. It's not long. Once again, once you get up, take off, and then get to a decent height, you're already you know, 45 minutes into it, you start to descend. So not too bad. You do have this, uh, Spirit has this flying club, air club or something, it's $9 per person. Um, if you're going to fly on Spirit a lot, I think it's worth it. Because you get discounts in other, other areas. Um, and if you fly in a group, I think with a family member, like if you fly in a family fly together, I think if one person got that, the $9 a month thing, if you fly a lot, that is the first thing I think you can save money on bags. But all six need to get it, you know, five or four, that's up to you. Um, if you fly a lot, it is a good deal. But there's some other perks on there as well that you can use. But um, if you're trying to go super, super on a budget, that nine dollars a month times four people will add up, right? And um, any money you save, if you don't travel a lot, you're, you will you're basically be given back. Because I only use Spirit really is for heavily discounted flights. Like as I was saying, like from here to LA, the flight was like two sixty something each way, which is still. Not bad, I mean, we're flying across the country, but if I'm going to pay that much, I'm going to pay the extra $100 or whatever and go southwest and, and get my seat, you know, and my room and bring my luggage on and just pay the extra money up front for that. I'm talking about the heavily discounted flights, like the $27 one way, right? With the whip taxes, the $37 to $50 one way with taxes. Those are your heavily discounted seats that can really determine where you go for vacation. I mean, we fixed spots before where we had no real interest in going to, and you look at the tickets and you're like, wow, for that price, you know, park, park what random city that you over your dates, put your city you depart from, and then just tag in other cities that Spirit flies to for the same dates and watch the, the discounts pop up. So this is how we pick up where we're going for November next month. 
I was going through cities. I was like Detroit, Chicago, Atlanta, uh, Texas, and San Antonio, Dallas. And they had Boston. I was like Boston, twenty-seven dollars. I was like, oh, here we go. We are going to Boston. Um, I do that from time to time. We get time off. For twenty-seven dollars each leg, you could fly. You could leave Friday night flight come back home Sunday evening and be somewhere the whole weekend for 60 bucks each person round trip can't beat that even if somewhere you don't even really want to go you can find something you're only there really Saturday and Sunday right it's a long week Friday weekend it's another time you can go you know, kids can have school early on Friday now they're not even in school so it's a big difference um, we can stay over Monday, fly back. It's a pretty cool thing. But yeah, um, I'm not going to do a tutorial and walk up through how to do it really quickly on the Sphere. And any airline, really, when you go in and just change the cities. If you got two screens, are you going to just bring up a, a map of the, where Sphere flies into and just type in the code? It's leave the same dates. You can find cities that are really, really cheap. Cheap as cheap as. $30. Like I said, if you go to the airport, those $20, $30 t tickets should go into your $9 to $10 to $11 range. You can't beat that. So, try it out. Let me know how it goes. Um, and if you've flown on three before and got some super discounted tickets, let me know. We can talk about it. You can compare savings. Um, if you've flown on three before and didn't like it, or something happened, um, we can talk about that as well, too. It's the truck has to be.